What's going on everybody? Doc and Sloth, we're back again. And today, we're testing out our 2v2 Colony Blitz strategy. Both running Blitz, we've got some decks uh, that we're going to, we've kind of been fine-tuning, we're going to continue to work on, and if some of these games go good, hopefully this game goes well, um, we will bring both those deck builds uh, to you. I did a little bit of a 1v1. Uh, my strategies swapped a little bit uh, different for this uh, 2v2 setup with Sloth. Uh, we'll see how this goes. This is going to be the DLC bowl. The DLC. Colony and Colony versus Colony and Kinsano. <laughs> Kinsano's good. So we'll see. Good. Yeah, um, I think Colony's better. Uh, we're, uh, well, I guess we'll find out. We'll um, find out. <laughs> or they're better than us, that, which uh, could be true. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Not that we're good enough to like make that big assumption. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do is I have a deck that is much more focused on area of denial and defense and kind of setting up on OP Ridge. And uh, Doc is going to be a little bit more set up to, uh, to be kind of getting energy for us and moving around and all that. I... Good, you got that. Very good. We'll go ahead and set a blood fuel locus over to B. Looks like we've got a decent amount of guys coming here. Alright, we got their locus down. I'm gonna grab a. Hey, and they dropped that energy right on top of you. That is perfect. Yes, I will be grabbing that. That was my whole point for putting the uh, the grunt mob over here. I want to be able to kind of set up. I am getting myself a little bit of a fight over here. See, this is where putting this stuff up on the uh, putting this stuff up on the uh, the old ridge here is going to be pretty good. Yeah. Now I am going to try to hold and bring a blister back in for you. Uh, I will actually. Just these these guys. Oh, and I did it again. I did what I normally do and call in the wrong unit. I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> well, I did a bad job of focusing on the right units. So I. It's okay. We're actually gonna hold this. Well, I went ahead and lost my locust. Yeah, we can hold this. These guys are going to do plenty good enough job by themselves. We are getting some locusts, marauders, and some reavers coming in. I'm going to move this pair down here with you. I'm going to try to get you a blister back up there. That will be great. Almost have enough for a suicide grunt on that uh, area between B and C. Or B and A, pardon me. There it is. Hopefully they stay tight. Oh, that's going to be a good one, yeah, because he's not seeing it. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nicely that's done. the army. Nicely Thank done. Thank you. You did lose your enduring, but again, I've got my reaver up here, and we've got our blister back set up. Doing pretty good. Perfect. Perfect. Done. Now, this is the one energy I was not set up for. This is actually going quite well. We're in focus mode again. We, we're not talking like we're supposed to. Um, but so far, you can kind of see what the strategy has been. Um, it's been to focus on, you know, make good fights, uh, make good easy fights uh, where we can, and fight for the ridge. And you saw, you know, there was a lot of push to put it up here, uh, to be honest. Um, and I think we did a good job of combating that. We've got a pretty hefty group sitting here. I don't know that I need to plus these guys up. Um, at, and at this point, I think I'm just going to be waiting for uh, the Hunter Captain. Also going to pre pre stage for this. Yeah. Like we go ahead and push guys. this Prowling Reaver over to the Vulture. I'll let them have A. We're okay giving away A. No issues there. Um, I think 
we I would say we definitely have the energy advantage or it's very close. Um, we've got some pretty heavy hitting units from this guy coming in with uh, the Consano build. They've got some stuff on A, nothing I'm really too worried about. Uh, decent mix. We're not seeing too much spam. Uh, they're starting to push that again. Which is why I keep this unit where I do. I think they're making a... It looks like maybe a push for... Push for the ridge, potentially. Go ahead and pop that living wall down. And this then is move a great my units move. up to attack. Slow them down just a bit, but I would say probably enough. Just enough, I would say. Uh, enough for to get some damage in. And again, I am I am making a, a very conscious effort to fight for energy. And this is a this has worked out quite well. We'll assist sloth here. Uh, and the other point again, this this works out nice because sloth can really. Uh, he can throw units up. He can put, uh, you know, a lot of his locusts on the ridge. I assist with the blister back, um, and then I'm really just assisting and fighting for the points here. Throw some front mob. I could definitely, my definitely get something in to take. Not that I need to, but to take a. There we go. Good e I I hate to say this, but that was relatively easy. Um, we beat that initial push on the ridge. Um, there was a focus by both of us. And, you know, we had good fights up there, both lost units. But being able to knock it out and take control of it means we can hold B and C. Uh, and then they kind of forced the pull off of A. And we made the fight and grabbed A intermittently, which puts even more pressure on and helps us get even farther ahead. Uh, I think that was pretty solid. What do you think? Yeah, and it's this is usually a, a pattern you'll see with us. Doc is always better at grabbing energy, but definitely with this deck setup, um, with these two decks kind of trying to have a little bit of synergy, um, that's actually kind of what we want to see. Um, that means that you're going around, um, you're you're capturing all the energy, you're pumping us up, and I'm really pumping up uh, OP Ridge and especially B. Uh, I don't think C is as necessary to pump up if you have that ridge, because right. the ridge can oversee that really well. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, and picking up another one. All right, picking up. And this is kind of what we've been seeing a little bit, at least I, I know I have, is um, especially running 2v2s, you, I feel like pretty consistently we're seeing Colony still get played. Um I think power level wise, I think balance wise is a pretty good leader, and I, I'm enjoying from that first game. I'm enjoying our strategy so far. Hopefully, it pans out for this one. Yeah, and this is one where we're wondering if it's a if it's a Smurf. It's a guy who just got the game with his buddy. We have one rank twenty nine and one rank two, so we'll see how it goes. I think that usually means rank two. You played one game. Um, so or some my money's on Smurf and we get smashed. <laughs> that's that's what I'm voting. That's what's gonna happen. I hope that doesn't happen because I want these decks to be good. <laughs> Three, two, uh, and I hope I just don't misclick uh, like I do every game. Once a game, I have misclicks. So I think here. I Why are you lying? Only I'm once sorry. a game, you're yeah, a liar. I am lying. You're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so far away. That's fine. Actually. Go uh, take this. I do like to take the Banshee by him over A. I guess I also went B. Which that's okay. We'll just we'll just make the really good fight on that. And I did get A. Yeah, the this starting army for the colony is just it's so unfair with the double engineers. It's so good. Right, time to pull out of there. Ooh. Well, I took the brunt of that. They yeah, are gonna get that. Here's healing you up here. Top side energy. We'll give them one. It's all right. I'm gonna go sit. Back actually, on not mobilizing day. for it. Um. Let's see. Time to move these guys out. 
Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and move to the ridge. Okay. He's wanting to, uh... To hit me with a... He jumped it. Back. He jumped it? Okay, yeah. cool. Back on the point, I think. Why Why are these hunters going? And this engineer? Stop. Back on the point, guys. Dang. Well, this is actually working out just fantastically. Because um, I'm going to take this energy too. And then I'm going to go and move forward to this Kodiak. You look like you're doing just fine over there. I am. But I do feel that way anyway. I'll drop this Reaver in, see if that can help. Pick out some of these uh, guys. Look at these. Look at these hunters from down here. I'm gonna drop a suicide grunt as well, see if we can't uh, get some cheese. Yeah, I was trying to get mine, I was trying to cycle through to get them. Here, I do need to focus. Again, my focus is on the energy piece. I do want to be able to pretty Dude. quickly get that. Um, I am gonna I am gonna buff up A, I think. Or actually, we'll just drop Scarf Hunters here. We'll just have them go to work. Why are these guys not at attack this? And good position to grab two, three of these. Oh, so I want the hunter. Maybe all of them? Potentially all of them. Yeah, this is going to work out pretty good. And honestly, I'm just being kind of cheeky on C here. I'm not really played much of anything. I used the Grunt Mob to grab the energy, Scarred Hunters to kind of fight, and it looks like you've got a really good setup there, and I really don't want this Blister back to survive, so I'm going to assist with some Reaver Fire as well. Yeah, that would be great. I think he's going to get out of there, but that's okay. Um, he's not really in a spot where he can use that the way they need to be used anyway. And I'm going to pre-position. This is one of my favorite moves, especially in a game like this where I know we're we're probably going to be okay. I, I really do want to pre-position as much as I can uh, for the energy sake. We're getting ourselves a little bit to bring a little bit of a fight here. Which is okay, because I've got some hunters. Be able to fight that. I'm going to wait for 90. Bring my prowling beaver into the back here to fight this blister back. You've got a good suicide grunts. I think we're going to be alright. And there we go. Boom. Well, that was something. That was, uh, two pretty good games. I am really liking these decks. I'm really liking this setup. Wow. Um, we kind of locked them out of everything. So that wasn't bad. Um, yeah, no one collected energy but you. That's bad. <laughs> That's pretty standard, though. <laughs> I do get a lot of the energy. <laughs> Good. Oh, man. Um, all right, well, we're going to back out. Uh, what do you think, Sloth? You liking the decks? You liking the setup? I'm digging them pretty good. Uh, I think uh, I may want to uh, keep playtesting with you, but uh, I'm, I'm liking the way they kind of stack. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think it's good. I, I think we'll probably run a few more games, but um, there's a very good chance we'll we'll bring you both of these decks. Uh, we'll talk a little bit of 2v2 strategy. Like I said, uh, I've got the deck up and the video up now where I did some Blitz 1v1s with Colony. Uh, I'm liking Colony. I, I really am. Like I said at the beginning, seems like a good balance leader. Seems like good capability to kind of, um, you know, at least be in the fight for almost all of your games. Uh, I had a really close 1v1. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. Um, but we'll keep running this. And like I said, I think we'll be bringing you uh, that 2v2 deck strategy here uh, very shortly. So stay tuned for that. If you're new to the channel, as always, got to put the plug in. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that little bell button so you get the notifications. Follow us on Twitter down below. Uh, that way we can let you know when, one, we put up new videos, two, when we're looking at doing our next live stream. Um, and then join the Average Gamer Guys Club. Uh, good good community there. People always looking to play uh, Halo Wars 2. We accept everybody, so 
average gamer guys just go on your xbox search for that club uh shoot yourself uh in a request uh to join and in a matter of minutes you should have uh, the invitation and be in the club and uh, hopefully meet some good people continue some conversation about halo wars too but uh i'm a doc that's miss loth hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh 2v2 ranked uh with some colony and we'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching